Welcome TV, welcome to Light Gaff. Come here, <laughs> Pro triathlete. More of a triathlete than I am. So, tea tonight is good old fashioned pizza. Um, basically, we got here too late. I couldn't be asked to cook. I know my gut will handle it. So, yeah, it's worked well before in the past. It's going to work well again. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have my pizza first and then we'll talk you through my bike. That one there. So, you'll have to excuse uh, my knowledge on mountain bikes, it's not as strong as on road bikes. However, like I mentioned, it is a LaPierre XRM 6.9, and as you can see, she's an absolute beauty. So, um, it's a one by single ring up front. God knows what cassette's on the back of that, but it's a lot of gears, as you can see. And we're on a SRAM Eagle GX group set here. Um, and yeah, how it's slightly different is this is a specific mountain uh, marathon bike. Um, so it's cross country marathon bike specific. Hence why uh, you can see that the rear suspension is coming off the top tube rather than the down tube. Um, other than that, it's kind of got rock shocks on there. Uh, the SID Select, I ain't got a clue to be honest, but it's a 29er. Uh, it's a hell of a lot of fun, and yeah, I can't wait to use her tomorrow. Right guys, so here's my nutrition strategy for tomorrow. So first of all, uh, like you've just seen, I've just had pizza. Uh, that's going to uh, be digested tonight and top it up my glycogen stores. Uh, to top that up in the morning, I'm going to be having 140 grams of uh, carbohydrate for breakfast. So 100 grams of the uh, porridge oats and 40 grams of blueberries. Um, so roughly, as I'm 70 kilograms, that's 2 grams per kilograms of uh, carbohydrates. Um, in particular, the blueberries is going to uh, top up my liver glycogen stores. So uh, yeah, it's worth bearing in mind to have two different types of uh, carbohydrate to do the muscle glycogen and the liver glycogen to make sure that I'm full uh, of energy ready for the race. Then what I'm going to do is have uh, a couple of Bidens uh, with some SIS tabs. That is going to help just kind of get some electrolytes in the body, keep me well hydrated. Um, I like these SIS ones um, because they don't fizz out my belly like some of the others do. Uh, some of them actually have an effect on my bowels as well, so they, they work really well for me. So roughly around 15 minutes before the swim, I am going to be having... Uh, a Mountain Fuel Sports Jelly Plus. Uh, so these are 30 grams of carbohydrates. Um, what that will do, so that'll start kicking in like through the digestive system, just as I'm coming out with a 1500 meter swim. Uh, the trick is to try and keep ahead of the curve. Uh, what we don't want to be doing is getting hungry at any point. So it's keeping ahead of the curve. Um, on the bike itself, um, I am going to be solely having two scoops or 100 grams of uh, Mountain Fuel uh, drink here. Um, so it's going to be quite viscous, that's why I've gone with a 750 bottle. Uh, so two scoops and just water, so I'm just literally going for a liquid fuel tomorrow. Um, I am going to be carrying two gels. Now uh, the intention is not to have those on the bike, the intention is to have those on the run. However, I am going to carry them on the bike just in case this bottle bounces out and or in case I drop the bottle on single track and I can't stop if there's riders behind me because there's no overtaking on the single track. Um, so that's the plan. And then what it's going to do is go into then, uh, yeah, they are going to be used on the run. So as I then head out onto the run, I will take a gel. Hopefully that'll see me through to the first 5k uh, and then the second gel just as I start the second uh, 5k, uh, 10k being in total. If I do lose uh, this bottle and I've got to consume these gels, uh, I will be leaving two gels as a spare near my trainers, then I can just take them out on the run as a backup. So basically, this is my nutrition plan for tomorrow. Um, 
Again, all these products work with me. They're all tried and tested. There is nothing new on race day. So that's a top tip. Do not ever try anything new, uh, anything new on uh, race day unless you are desperate. Um, yep, so that's the plan for that. Right, so in my kit bag, my transition bag, uh, I have already got my Orca wetsuit stuffed in the bottom here. I'm not going to pull it out because it's nice and neat. Uh, transition mat, this brilliant one from uh, British Triathlon. Now, I don't know the rules to Terra. If uh, you're in a qualifying event or a GB event, you're not allowed to uh, use one of these because you're marking. Um, however, like local triathlons or some national ones do allow you to use those. It's just great if the grass is wet and you're putting on some socks. So that's going in the bag. Um, I have actually got two pairs of sunglasses. I've got some bigger pair and a smaller pair. Um, I'll kind of see one, um, one's kind of like clear. Uh, the other one really uh, stops the glare of the sun. So we'll see what the weather's like. They're going in. Uh, my goggles, I'm opting for uh, orange lenses tomorrow uh, rather than smokies. Um, Body glide to stop chafing on the neck. Uh, a few bits and pieces in here, spare uh, number belt, some stickers for a disc wheel, I certainly won't be using those. Uh, some elastic bands, I certainly won't be using those because as it's mountain bike, I'm not even gonna attempt um, elastic band in my, my shoes to the bike. I've got a rain mac just in case, and I've got a waterproof g -Lay just in case. Um, like I say, let's see what the weather does and let's see how cold I may get. I have a compressed sport chip timing uh, belt. I like to use my own. This one's nice and soft. Uh, sometimes you just get them Velcro straps and it's kind of like really chafes on the skin. So this one's nice. So I have that with me. I've got some suntan lotion waterproof for kids. Just in case it is hot, uh, chance will be a fine thing. I've got my Garmin Triathlon heart rate monitor. I am running in my Soconi uh, trail shoes tomorrow. I absolutely love these and uh, these are the uh, Peregrine 11s. These are about my third or fourth pair in the row. Um, if it's not broke, what's the point in fixing it, right? So yeah, uh, what we've got is some speed laces. So they're going in and that's what they're doing the running. I have my uh, mountain bike shoes, I've put some new cleats on, uh, I've just got some Richie pedals for that, so um, I've actually just tested those outside so they unclip really really nice now. And finally, I've got resistance band just to get warmed up into transition. Obviously my nutrition will go in the bag as well, um, and uh, my bottle just for kind of like sipping on fluids throughout the morning. So everything's real nice and neat. My helmet is in the car. That'll just get kind of tagged onto here. But it means that I'm not carrying a big daft box or a big stupid Ikea bag or anything like that. It's just all nice and neat in my bag already. And it's got my name on there, so I won't lose that. So that's my kit for the race. Right, so here's the kit for tomorrow. So the ever trusty Humber Triathlete suit. It's about three or four years old this one now, so yeah, I've actually just ordered a new one, so it's probably the last outing for this. Uh, I am biased, but I do still believe it's the best looking suit out there. Uh, brand new mountain fuel cap, which I'll be uh, putting on for the run, uh, and I will be putting uh, my socks on for uh, the mountain bike and the run. So that's the kit for tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning, so we're on our way to Western Park for Xterra UK, so it's the first time that I've done an Xterra, first time that I've raced on my uh, mountain bike within a triathlon, so I've got zero expectations for this race whatsoever, I just want to go and have fun, simple as that. Um, hopefully we'll get lots of footage because I've got my camera woman behind the camera right now, but probably the fact that We've got children with us, they're probably going to take all the time as well. So we'll try and get as much as possible. Um, but other than that, yeah, we're excited to race. Weather's looking a little bit overcast, so I'm not sure if it's going to be uh, cold on the bike or not. Um, maybe wearing a G-Lay, I'll decide when I get to the bike. Um, but yeah, other than that, quite excited. 
breakfast has settled in well and um, yeah, I'm ready to go. making our way to Western Park for Exterra UK. Quite excited. <gasps> Look at those dinosaurs, wow. Look <laughs> so. Welcome to Homes Under the Hammer. So what type of house would this suit in the Wolverhampton suburb with the uh, iron mongered spiral staircase and the fine stone dug out from the local quarry in Birmingham. Perhaps it could be a professional couple who works in the city. Perhaps it may be me, a triathlete with no room for my bike. <laughs> <laughs> 